In South Australia's northern Spencer Gulf, there's a section of rocky reef that provides an important breeding ground for Australia's giant cuttlefish, Sipia apama. It's within and underneath these rocks that the cuttlefish lay their eggs. Until recently, people would look out from the shores of Point Lowly and have no idea that there are 130,000 animals breeding just a few metres in front of them. They realised that there was a developing market for cuttlefish and catches started to go up. Um, they then said, well, this is a problem because, you know, if we're catching these animals on the spawning ground, well, it's, it's, it's a bit of a risk for that population. So a, a closure was put in place for that false bay area. And it makes sense, you know, these animals are spawning, or aggregating the spawn, so you want to make sure they do it in peace, particularly because they only live for a very short time. We now know that this is a really important annual event for giant cuttlefish in South Australia, and scientists are actively tracking cuttlefish numbers at Point Lowly. So a PhD student did some work back in the late 90s and found that the population estimate was around about 180,000. In 2005, it dipped down a little bit, but then from about, I think about 2009 onwards, we start to see a real decrease in that population. Cephalopods, that squid, cuttlefish and octopus, are considered to be the rock stars of the ocean because they live fast and die young. Cuttlefish live for just 12 to 18 months, so the reproductive success of the population that exists in any given year determines the population in the next year. Once the populations decline to that really low level, the management increase the protection of the area. While there wasn't any definitive link that fishing pressure was causing the population to decline, researchers found that during the good years when the populations increased, those cuttlefish hatched out into warmer temperatures. In warmer conditions, the growth of the juvenile cuttlefish is sped up and they may become less vulnerable to predation. Scientists saw the population come back incredibly quickly. just highlights how dynamic and responsive uh, cephalopods are to environmental pressures and uh, they can boom and bust really quickly. Today, the aggregation continues to thrive. It's the only place in the world where you can see tens of thousands of cuttlefish aggregating in such a small area.